Hey everyone, it's The Maze Man with another Roblox game feature tutorial. This time is how to make a model regenerate. This is seen in most Roblox games. In this tutorial I'll go over how to get the script to find the model you want to regenerate, backing up the model, waiting to regenerate, do you wait a certain amount of time or until it doesn't exist anymore, how to regenerate the model, and I even have some bonus content, how to use a for loop to unanchor a bunch of bricks within a model. I put together this test place really quickly. It's just a bunch of anchored blocks stacked on top of each other. And here's the main script for it, dirt regen. What it does is it finds dirt, game.workspace.dirt. So there it is, workspace dirt. It backs it up by using a variable equal to the previously called variable and cloning it. Then it waits for something to happen, and then it does, it does this line after it's ready to regenerate. It remakes the, the variable dirt equal to the previous, so it basically clones itself, and then the parent is set to game.workspace, like where it originally is, and then it makes the joints, which means it just has to make sure that all of those parts are going to stay together. They're basically cloned into workspace. You don't have to add this line when you're regenerating a script or a bool value or a number value or anything else like that. Only for models you have to make joints for them. Now here's the parameters of this regeneration system. It uses a while loop and so it waits five seconds and then it finds, here's the for loop part, it finds everything in dirt, the model. For the number of objects in dirt, it does a loop that many times. And if that particular object has a class name of part, then it counts that as part of the loop, and then it does this, which is making it unanchored. And then it repeats until there are no more things left in the dirt model to check. That's what a for loop does. And you can play around with for loops so much more. It's so cool. Then it waits five seconds, and then it removes dirt if it finds dirt in workspace and then it waits two seconds and regenerates it. So let's see what this does. I'm actually gonna add some printing. Now I have script beginning, unanchored, removing, regenerating. Let's go look at the output. All right, check it out. Script beginning, unanchored, it falls apart. It removes, and then it regenerates and it's script beginning again. And then it does this until true is false, which means the game's not playing anymore. A while true dupe loop happens until the game's not being played anymore, because then there's nothing to loop. <laughs> Here's how you can make it so the dirt regenerates as soon as it's gone, or nil. First I make it print blank 25 times using a for loop, and then using a while loop and a repeat loop, you can continue this. If a, it waits until game.workspace dirt is gone and I use find first child here because if you don't use it and you just try this you'll get an error because as soon as dirt is gone this line will have an error because you're not first checking if it's alive find first child is kind of magical as you can check if things that really aren't there you can check that they're not there so find first child is very helpful so then as soon as dirt is gone, you know, within a second, then it will make the dirt again. Let's see what this does. So here I have it every second waiting until dirt disappears. So let's make it disappear. Regenerating script beginning. Okay, so here it is again. Delete, regenerates, deletes, regenerates. That's basically how to make a model regenerate. You can do many cool things with this and the for loop. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.